guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be going through the Colourpop Eva Kutowski collab. Now to be honest, before I saw this collab come out, I had no idea who Eva Kutowski is. Um, I didn't watch her channel, I wasn't subscribed, I'm still not, <laughs> but um, I did like what I saw when I was looking at the collab online and I really do enjoy Colourpop. I think they do great when they do their collabs, so I was excited to do this. Now, the part of the collab that I chose to get was the vacation mode one because the vacation mode had more cool tone colors and quite frankly, I have a lot of warm tone ones, um, palettes and whatnot. I have a lot of warm tone shadows and I just thought that the way they put together the cool tone one was just so pretty. Everything else is the same, I believe. The lip bundle is the same for both, and the um, Mermaid Glow Highlighter and Blush is also the same. Now, Colourpop did send me an email because I bought this the very second it went up for sale online, so it is getting to me kind of late. Colourpop did send me an email apologizing for it being late, and they also sent me a free ultra matte lip in the... Um, in the package that they sent to me, I guess by way of apology, which I'm never going to turn down anything free. So for anyone who's curious, the color that they sent me was in tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just go through um, what everything is that comes in the collection because it's not much. So it'll be able, I'll be able to go through it pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a full face with everything that's here so that you can just see, you know, how it applies, what the colors look like once they're on and, you know, what look I'm able to come up with. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Vacation Mode Eyeshadow Palette. So you get four colors in here. This is what it looks like. I think this is so sleek looking too. I really like this a lot. I mean, I know we usually like the bigger palettes that come with more inside, but I still think this is pretty nice. I'm trying not to blind everyone. I'm so sorry. All right, so you get these colors here. And the name of the colors are Round Trip, Mahalo, Teeny Bikini, and Shotgun. So I think those are some really nice colors. I'm really going to have fun trying to come up with like some kind of cool tone. Now, these two here are shimmery. And then these two here are matte. Am I even holding this? There we go. These two here are matte and then the other two are shimmers. So I'm definitely going to have a good time coming up with a cool tone look for myself here because, again, it's not something I'm really used to doing. So that's going to be fun. And then here, this is the Mermaid Glow Face Duo in Golden Hour and Siren. And again, I think the packaging is really sleek and cute looking. It's plastic packaging, but it doesn't, I don't know, to me it doesn't feel super cheap. Like I felt cheaper packaging before. But here we go. We have Golden Hour, which is the highlight. And this is more of a champagne-y to tan highlight. And then we have Siren, which is the blush. I think that's really pretty too. This is definitely up my alley when it comes to the color and tones of blushes. More on like the peachy to natural side than anything else. I think it's coming off more pink on camera than it actually is in person. And then we have the She's a Beach Babe Lip Bundle. So we have the Ultra Glow. This is also cute packaging once again. So you have the Ultra Glossy Lip in Just Surfed. Sorry, there we go. It's a better way to see it. So that is Just Surfed. And then we have the Ultra Blotted Lip in Love Bite. And I like these Ultra Blotted Lip formulas. And this is another Ultra Blotted Lip in Party Wave. So that is the vacation mode collection there. Um, I'm going to move on to the application process. So if you want to see how everything looks once it's applied, then just keep watching and we'll get straight into it. Okay, so first I'm going to be going in with this taupey brown color in the palette. And I'm going to be taking that on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to be starting from the outer corner over the crease and into the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to go back and forth repeatedly and I'm going to make sure to build this up to the color that I would like. So now I'm taking a more tapered blending brush and I'm going into the darkest shade of the palette. I'm going to start off first by tapping that into the outer corner and blending in slightly. 
and then little by little as I build up the intensity of the color I want I'm going to do the same thing I did before and I'm going to sweep it through the crease a little below that first transition shade and I'm going to take it all the way over into my inner corner. Here I'm going in with that first blending brush again with no extra product and I'm just blending around the edges to keep them nice and smooth. Here I'm just grabbing one of these small synthetic brushes that came with one of my gel eyeliners and I'm going to be going back with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to use that to make a spotlight cut crease. I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to cut creases. I'm still working on it. So here I'm just kind of mapping out a shape that I would like and I'm going to be using that to create a spotlight cut crease. Now taking the lightest shimmer shade of the palette and my ring finger, I'm just going to dip into that and I'm going to tap that all over where I just set down that concealer. Once again, grabbing that tapered blending brush, I'm going to go back into the darkest shade and I'm going to darken up the outer and inner corners by just blending in toward the cut crease in the center. Here grabbing an angled brush which didn't really have to be angled it could have been any shape brush but just a thin brush I'm going to go into the darker shimmery shade and I'm going to use that to blend together the center shade and the darker shades on the outside just so that I don't have this harsh straight line and it tapers off a little more. Now here I'm grabbing a small shadow brush and I'm going to be mixing the brownie taupe shade with the darkest shade just so that I can run that beneath the lower lash line. And now picking up a fluffy rounded brush, I'm going to be dipping into the blush and I'm just going to be applying that to my cheeks. And now taking this highlighter brush, I'm going to be going into Siren. I'm going to pick a little bit of that up and sweep that across the top of my cheekbones. Now I love the soft subtle glow that it gives when you go in lightly. But I also love the fact that you can really build this up to give yourself a really like nice glow. I'm also going to sweep a little bit of that down the nose and right across the chin. Here I'm just tapping into a little bit more to sweep across the cupid's bow. Here I just quickly swatched all three colors of the lip bundle just to see which one I would prefer and of course I'm going to be going in with that center more cool tone shade. Just to add a little extra something, I'm going to be taking the glossy lip from the bundle and I'm going to sweep that just across the very center of my bottom and upper lip.
Okay, so that's what I was able to do. Now, just a few quick thoughts on um, each piece here. I found that the palette is definitely not as pigmented as I was expecting. Definitely had to build the colors up. Now, whether or not it's because it was a cool tone palette or just these particular colors, I can't be sure. Now, you do get beautiful payoff after you've built it up a bit, but Again, it's just something to keep in mind if you're interested in this or you're looking towards it. Um, I don't work with cool tones a lot, so maybe that had something to do with it, but just my opinion there, I did have to build it up quite a bit and I did have to basically bring those colors out. Uh, although, I have to say, oh, I did put it on top of a concealer, but this one right here is just like, bam, that really is a nice punchy color. But otherwise, I did like it. I do like having a cool tone palette. Uh, I'm not experienced with doing cut creases, so this was kind of a win for me today. But otherwise, definitely did like it, but keep in mind, not super pigmented. You're going to have to build it up. As far as the mermaid glow colors... Ooh, I think these are both gorgeous. Like I said before, the blush is definitely um, the color tones that I usually go for anyway, but that did have a lot of pigmentation to it. The color did come off beautifully. Definitely make sure to go in with a light hand because you will not have any trouble building that up. That actually comes off beautifully. Um, the uh, highlighter, the siren, that you surprisingly have to build up. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. I actually don't mind a highlighter that you have to build up because then you're not in, in, in danger of kind of just going in too heavy handed to begin with. So that's a good thing. It does pick up a little bit more texture than I'm used to with the other highlighters that I use. But again, if you go in with a light hand, if you build it up slowly, if you make sure to, you know, buff it out. Also, I used a um, dewy setting spray, the Flower Beauty dewy setting spray, the hydrating mist. And that actually toned down any texture look, so I don't mind it at all. And again, uh, I'm surprised that this particular color actually did work for my skin tone, but I think it worked beautifully, and I think I'll love it even more once the summertime comes around and I start to build up my tan. But already, I think it's a beautiful color, so both of those, definitely a win. And... As far as all the lippies go, again, like I mentioned before, I don't mind the blotted lips because I think sometimes just a touch of that color, especially for more spring summertime looks, that little touch of color that definitely your lips would better look is just such a pretty look to have. Just sometimes a, a nice, soft, pretty look. And like I did today, I used the, uh, the what is it, Just Surfed um, Ultra Glossy Lip as a lip topper and I went in just really lightly with it and I just tapped it into the center of my lips just to give it a little something extra to the blotted lip but either one by themselves I think would look beautiful to top off this lip so yeah I'm definitely glad I have it again even though you had to work on those shadows a little bit and build them up still not bad um being working with cool tones is definitely something new, but definitely something that I liked and I'm, I'm happy with the end result. And I do definitely think the price was worth it. You get the three lippies, you get the blush, you get the highlighter, and you get the palette with those four shadows in them. So I think the price was worth it. Um, if you have any extra questions, then please ask them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you did. You all have a great weekend wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.